Hey, this is Russ. You know, I had a comment from one of our viewers who asked me to take a survey of you guys for a couple of things, okay? So I'd, rather than um, just answering him on his comments, uh, I figured, uh, yeah, they were legitimate questions. So I said, let me let me ask you guys through doing a video, okay? <laughs> I mean, that, that is what a YouTube video thing is all about. <laughs> so here's, here's what he's basically asking. He's asking me, I'm looking off the camera again. He says, um, I should do a, a survey of the type of knee replacement that people have had, okay? So what type? I, I think he's asking about, did you have a total knee replacement? Was it a partial knee replacement? What, what type of knee replacement did you have? And then uh, also in your mind, how long did you think that the recovery time was going to take you? And um, what did you think about the pain and your mobility? Okay, so I think what, what he's uh, asking, I'm just looking off camera again here, is that, uh, you know, how long did you think it was going to take you to get over this thing? And then what was your, um, your thoughts about the pain and what your mobility would be after getting the knee replacement? I mean, I could tell you guys what I thought. I'll tell you that in a second here. And then he also asks us a question. He says, um, if you're having two knees replaced, what is the interim time that you would have done it between the two knees? So, uh, so the question really is, would you have done both knees at the same time? And if not... How long would you wait until you do the second knee? That's that's his question. Okay, so so your homework right now is to make a comment in the comments below to answer uh, his questions. Um, what type of knee replacement did you have? Okay, um, how long did you think it was going to take you to recover? And um, what what was your thoughts of, about the pain and the mobility? So so uh, is the pain worse than you thought it was going to be? Was it about what you thought it was going to be? Is it uh, are you getting over it? How how is your mobility? Uh, you know, after your knee replacement, answer those questions for him. And then also, if you're doing two knees, what amount of time would you wait to do the knees? Or would you have done them both at the same time? How long would it take before you go to the next knee? So here's here's my answers. Let me give you my answers too, okay? Uh, I thought I was going to be done in about three months, three to four months. That's that's what my doctor told me. He says you should be back to, to normal working stuff within the three to four months. I mean, he he said you won't be perfect, but you're, you'll be functional in three to four months. That's what I thought would happen. <laughs> we all know that didn't happen. <laughs> that thing took... Well, how long did it take? Okay, I mean, I, I see it as two years, really. But in reality, how functional was I where I was kind of doing okay um, and then the rest was just kind of like just waiting for it to get a little bit better? I would say a year and a half. Yeah, I, I would call it a year and a half. And then that final half a year was uh, me riding the e-bike and getting myself um, more... Uh, uh, more used to using the knee more because you get a pedal and everything, right? So, but as far as like the hard work, I would say a year and a half for me is how long it took me, plus another half a year of exercise on the e bike and stuff. Yeah. And then as far as uh, how long would I take to do the second knee, um, my originally, uh, my original thought was I was going to do it in three to four months after the first knee because my doctor said I would be better by then. So my original plan was. Let's do the first one. We'll do three or four months of recovery for that one. Then we'll hit the second one, do three or four months of recovery. And then we'll go on a cruise. <laughs> well, we know how, how that turned out. <laughs> After the bad thing with the first one, my doctor asked me, he said, uh, are we doing the second knee? I says, no way. <laughs> and to date, I still haven't done it, right? And then uh, this whole thing with the cruise, come on, the pandemic happened. No one's going on cruises. Okay, some people are going on cruises. But yeah, at that time, even if I would have finished that second knee, I couldn't have gone on a cruise because that's when everything locked up. All the cruise industry stopped at that point. Okay. It was a double, double whammy for me. Yeah, couldn't do the second knee. And uh, I would have never been able to do the cruise even had I done it. I think if I had done both knees, and let's say both of them were to have come out perfectly the way I expected it to, I would have been really disappointed that after all that hard work, <laughs> I couldn't go on the cruise. <laughs> yeah, double whammy for me. So, uh, yeah, to this date, I still haven't done the second knee, and I, I don't intend to do it ever unless I have to do it, <laughs> all right? So uh, it's, it's not going to be done because of convenience of time. I mean, the first knee was done based on convenience of time because I was closing up my photography school that I that I owned and 
and I said that this is uh, this is a good timing to do it. So I did it. Okay. I don't think I'd do that again. I think if, if I knew any better, I would not have done this left knee until I absolutely had to do it to the point where I, I can't function anymore. I have to do it. I think that would have been better. And then I would have been able to say that it was worth it or not. But uh, since I wasn't hurting that bad, I mean, I was hurting, but I wasn't hurting as bad as some of you guys had. Um, I, I could never really come out and say this was worth it because, you know, I still have issues with the knee every now and then. I am moving a lot better now, but... Uh, um, I was I was moving pretty good then. <laughs> I mean, on short distances, you'd never even knew I had a knee problem. You would see me walking up and down stairs, doing things, walking short distances, like if I had absolutely no problems at all. But given some time of walking, you know, and and long distances of, of things, yeah, you you would know you would definitely know that I had an issue because you'd see me hobbling pretty bad at that point. So, but. Short-term stuff, it was pretty easy uh, overall. So my, my own personal suggestion is don't, don't go in for the knee replacement if you're like me, like that. Wait until it absolutely has such, a, such an issue for you that you can go in. And then, then when you get better, even if you're not 100% perfect, you can say, that was worth it. I mean, at this point, even though I can still feel my knee, I always rubbing my knee all the time. <laughs> uh, I, I could... I could then say that, look, look how much better I am now. I'm not perfect, but look how much better I am now compared to then. Right? I could never say that now because I was better then than I am now. <laughs> so if you want to be able to say that your knee was worth it, you better wait until your 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 bone on bone is so bad that you know every every step you take is so bad. Then you would definitely say no matter how good or bad this knee came out, it was better than then. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, answer his questions uh, in the comments below. Let's let's all contribute on this one. Yeah, I think this is a legitimate question that he has. Let's all help the guy, right? Answer the question, put a comment below, let him know the answers to those things. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.